Welcome to the newest DJI Mini 3 Pro Leaks video. Big thanks to at Jasper Ellens on Twitter. We now have an official, unofficial, I have no idea where he finds this stuff, release date for retailers. The DJI Mini 3 Pro will be released on May 10th. Now, I don't know if that means I can order mine. I hope so, because I'm ready. How about you? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you the most recent leaks that I've collected, including a brand new spec sheet rumored to be from DJI themselves. We also have, excitingly, product photos. Now these are high resolution, crisp photos of the DJI Mini 3 Pro, as well as the RC remote control, the RC drone package, and the fly more package. Now I'm also excited to share with you two new leaks. We have product accessories for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now I'm personally excited to get these accessories into my hands so that I can demo them and share them with you. But if you want to hear about those accessories, you're going to have to stick around to the end of the video. Let's start with the spec sheet. At the top of the spec sheet, you can see that DJI Mini 3 Pro is listed as a 249 gram 4K HDR video focus track featured drone. All that information we already knew also from previous leaks. Now, where it gets interesting is at the drone max speed, max flying height, max flight time, max wind resistance, and flight distance. When it comes to the max speed, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is listed for the sport mode at 16 meters per second, which is equivalent to 35 miles per hour. In normal mode, it is 10 meters per second, which is equivalent to 22 miles per hour. And in cinematic mode, or depending on who you're talking to, cine mode, it is listed at six meters per second or 13 miles per hour. Now compared to the DJI Mini 2, these specs are no different. The DJI Mini 2 has the same speed for each mode. The flight height is 4,000 meters, which is equivalent to two and a half miles. That is also the same as the DJI Mini 2, no different. Now the flight time is where we start seeing some improvement in the Mini 3. It is rated at 34 minutes on that standard battery. Now the Mini 2 is 31 minutes, so it's a three minute bump, which is, you know, it's something, right? The max flight distance is 18 kilometers. That's equivalent to 11.18 miles. Now the Mini 2 is only rated at 10 kilometers or 6.21 miles. When it comes to the wind resistance, it is rated at 29 to 38 kilometers an hour and level five wind resistance. Now, this is the same, again, as the Mini 2. No different. Moving down to Wi-Fi, we're going to receive 802.11, A, B, G, N, A, C. In a couple circles, they believe that we are going to be able to control the drone just with a cell phone. That would be amazing. So no RC remote needed and no N1 remote needed, just your cell phone. Now, I can see a couple use cases for this, especially if we're out there riding a bike or a one wheel <laughs> or just hiking and just want to launch the drone real quick and just get a couple shots. Now we're also getting Bluetooth 5.2 and let's talk about the operating temperature. This is also where the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 Pro differ. The operating temperature for the Mini 3 Pro is 0 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. That's 34 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 104. I'm always impressed by that. And the Mini 2 can operate actually at 10 degrees even lower than 0 degrees Celsius. It can operate at 4 degrees Fahrenheit versus 34 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to that 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Very interesting. There's also some discussion about the GPS and satellite system. It is the same as the MAV-3, according to what I'm reading. And there's a lot of concern that that latency or that delayed time in connecting to satellites is also going to be an issue, potentially, with the Mini 3 Pro. We'll just have to wait to see. Now we're gonna move on to the camera specs. We already know this, but we'll repeat it real quick. We're going to get a one over 1.3 CMOS sensor with a 48 megapixel camera. That's amazing compared to the Mini 2's one over 2.8 and only 12 megabit pictures. We're getting a 4X improvement in picture quality. When it comes to the lens, it is going to be equivalent to 24 millimeters, just like the Mini 2, 
but it differs in the aperture. The aperture on the Mini 3 Pro is going to be in f1.7, letting in so much more light than the f2.8 from the Mini 2. In video quality, we're getting a 4K 2.7 full HD slow motion at 1920, 1080. We're, we're going to get dronies, rocket, circle, spiral, asteroid, boomerang. These are all great features. It is going to be an amazing camera. Now let's talk about the video transmission. The video transmission system, we are all excited about this, is going to be OcuSync 3, also known here as DJI List DJI 03. The live preview quality is definitely going to be better than the, uh, the Mini 2. We're going to get 1080p now instead of 720, and it's the same 30 frames per second. Let's talk about the intelligent flight battery. It is a larger capacity battery. We're going from a 2000, 250 milliamp battery in the Mini 2 to a 2,453 milliamp battery. Now it will take just a little over an hour to charge that battery. Now let's get into the product photos. Here we have high resolution, crisp photos of the DJI Mini 3 Pro, as well as the RC remote with built-in screen. Like I said in previous leaked videos, we have no more legs attached to the arms. All we have are these little nodules or nubs that the drone is actually going to rest on the ground and the battery itself. The way that they shaped the battery, it also has another two little nodules or wingtip looking uh, stands there and that's it. So very low ground to drone clearance. I don't quite understand that or how that's going to work. As you can see, the blade even looks like it's resting directly on the ground. And then we have the sensors forward sensors there, nice and huge bug eyes, which is hilarious. And then we have our new camera, which I am really excited about, the f1.7. Looking forward to those sunset, sunrise photos, as well as night shots, just to see what kind of detail you can get out of that compared to the Mini 2. Now, when it comes to the RC remote, I am very excited that the screen is this big. There are rumors out there that this is probably five, five and a half inches, which I think is a perfect size. Unfortunately, based on the pricing that's been leaked so far, we're thinking that the brightness of the screen will not be a thousand nits, but more like 500, 600 nits. As you can see, the standard buttons are here. We have our return to home, our pause button, our cinematic or cine, normal mode and sport mode. Power on, power off power indicator for the battery, and then our joysticks. Now, if we go back to the previous photo here, we actually get more detail of the bottom of the remote here. This is pretty exciting. Here on the left, we can see it says host. I'm assuming that that is going to be our storage for our joysticks, and then micro SD, which is awesome. Built-in memory, can't beat that. We also have USB-C charging. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any pictures of the front of the remote, so we can't really talk to the buttons. But what I would like to point out, and others uh, have pointed out as well, we don't see two important buttons. The function button, which some of us use, as well as the camera button to toggle back and forth between video and pictures. So there's a potential that those buttons are on the front of the remote but we just won't know until we actually see more pictures or the remote in person. Next, we get to see the RC remote drone package. As you can see here, we have the RC remote, just as we discussed. We have the drone, the gimbal cover. It looks like four additional blades, our screwdriver, screws, and our USB-C charging cord. Now, obviously, you are also going to get a battery. Don't, don't fret. It's just in the drone at this moment. I have another picture that shows the battery. Next, we have the Fly More package. I'm excited about this. As you can see, we have our two additional batteries and it is marked and listed as the Ultralight 249 gram batteries. That's important. Over here, we have our charging hub. This hub has actually been redesigned and I can show you in a couple pictures. It actually is not, the, the batteries don't stack side by side now they're going to be back to back so it's i find it a bulkier charging hub which is good bad or otherwise i don't know we'll have to see when we get it in person you also get an additional eight blades with the fly more package and their screws and the usb-c charging cord and the carrying bag 
Now it is time for the two new accessories that were leaked this last week on a European website by accident. These are ND filters, 1664-256 for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, as well as a Pro wide angle lens. I am very excited for these two accessories. Cannot wait to get them into my hands, test them, and to share them with you. Well, if you stuck around this far into the video, I have a second bonus for you. I have two photographs that were taken by the DJI Mini 3 Pro. One during the daytime, it's either sunset or sunrise, and one at night. Unfortunately, these are not the full resolution photo photos, but they give a good indication of the quality of the camera. Well, I hope you found this video helpful today and you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around, I have two videos here that you might like.